Hi, welcome to CSCMA. Nowadays, there are the much more SDLC models are available nowadays. But the Spiral model is one of the most important software development lifecycle model that provides the better functionality or the environment to develop any software or a software product or the system. So let's start the more detailed descriptions about the Spiral model. Introduction to a spiral model. A spiral model is more flexible and risk driven model. It is clear by it names that it is the spiral. Means that the all the phases of the SDLC model that are to be used in this model are form like a spiral. And it is the combination of the waterfall model and the iterative model. You can get the link above of waterfall model and iterative and it works into the four phases these phases are evaluation and planning the first one and the second one is the objective determination and third one is the risk analysis and fourth and last one the engineering a spiral model is the best for the long term products and the complex products and it produces a better functionality and the tools to develop any software system this is the spiral model in which the first phase of the spiral model is the evaluation and the planning. In this phase, all the test, all the operations are evaluated and planned to implement onto the development phases to develop the systems. And the second one is the object determination. In the object determination phase, all the objectives are determined that are pl planned into the first phase and on the basis of determinations of the object all the development teams focused and works towards to achieve that determined goal or the plan and the third one is the risk analysis as we know that the risk is the is an expectation of the loss into the futures that might be occurred or maybe not not occurred or we say that the risk is a problem that may be occurred or not occurred into the future. So risk analysis provides the better tools to analyze all the risks that might be related to the technical risk, business risk and the other risks that might be occurred during the development of the systems that might be occurred into the future. So the third and the most important uh, phase of the spiral model is the risk analysis. After all the after all the phases are the completely performed, then the last phase is the engi engineering phase. Engineering phase are basically the phases that are used to develop the systems, and these phases phases are the, used to uh, collect the requirement from the user and design the system and implement the systems and perform the testings onto the systems that we developed and find the errors and trying to remove these errors in development, deployment and the maintenance. So these phases, uh, the, these are the engineering phases that are to be performed onto the last phase of the spiral model and all these phases are completed then we have a better and the best software products and when any problems are occurred into the developed product or the need any modifications then whole phases whole spiral is again again to be performed then it to be need more cost and more time So in this video we have learned about the spiral model and how it is it used to produce a better software software product and the software systems and thank you thanks for watching i hope you like the video you can get more video videos from here